You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. Hello there. Today we're going to talk about value exchange in the world of sales. See, value exchange is the key to unlocking success. If you want the secret, that's it. See, I've been in the sales game a long time, over 30 years. And I'll tell you, it's all about giving and receiving value. It's not about pushing your product down someone's throat. It's about creating a win-win situation. When you're out there in the trenches, right, talking to potential clients, you've got to understand that it's not just about what you can get from them. It's about what you can give them. you got to provide value. Listen, I'm not talking about a discount or a fancy brochure. I'm talking about real tangible value. You got to show your customers how your product or service can solve their problem. Right? Commissions earned by solving problems. The bigger the problem, the bigger the commission usually. See, when you can solve their problems and make their life easier or help them achieve their goal, that's where the win is. You've got to educate them, inspire them, and make them see what doing business with you and why that is the best decision. It's not a two-way street, folks. You can't just be a giver. You've got to be a receiver, too. You've got to understand what your customers' needs are, what their pain points are, and how you can address them. It's a conversation, a negotiation, or a dance is what we call it in the business. You're exchanging value. And when you do it right, everybody wins. So if you're in the world of sales, think about value exchange as a beautiful symphony, okay? Where you and your customer are the lead performers. You bring your best and they bring theirs. And together you create a freaking masterpiece. It's not about taking, it's about giving. And that give and take, that's where the magic happens. So get out there, man. Make it happen, provide value, and watch your success and your sales start to creep up. Because when you master the art of value exchange, nothing can stop you. So we're going to dive a little deeper into the concept of value exchange in the world of sales. Number one, you got to understand your customer's needs. To be successful in sales, you need to put your detective hat on, okay? you got to dig deep. Ask the hard probing questions and really get to the core of what your customers needs are. It's not about what you want to sell. It's about what they want to buy and why they need to buy it. So start listening. And I mean, really listening to what they're saying. What are their pain points? What keeps them up at night? What are their dreams and aspirations? The more you understand your customer, the better you can tailor your pitch and your product to address their specific needs. You got to educate and inspire. It's not about being a pushy salesperson. It's about being a trusted advisor. And you've got to educate your customers so on how your product or service can make their lives better. Show them the features and benefits and don't stop there. Inspire them with the possibilities. You got to paint a vivid picture of how their life will improve with your solution and make them see what doing business with you and why that's so important and that you're going to help take them to their, you know, steps closer to their next, to to their goals. Show the product, don't tell. What does that mean? 
Don't just tell your customer how the value or about the value of your offering. Show them that this could mean providing the right situation be the perfect product. This means providing demonstrations, case studies, testimonials from satisfied customers. Visual aids, those are super powerful in the sales process as well. And when your customer can see the tangible benefits of what you're offering, it becomes a whole lot more compelling. Create a win-win situation. Remember, you got to listen to this. It's not a one-way street. Sales is a two-way relationship. Your goals or your goal isn't just to close the deal. It's to create a win-win situation, both for you and your customer. And that means that you should walk away feeling like you got value out of the interaction as well. This builds long-term relationships and loyalty, which you don't see much of anymore. Because there's not a lot of the above going on. Think about how you can structure deals or offers that benefit both parties for the long run. Here's the hard part for a lot of folks. You're going to have to overcome objections. And you're going to have to negotiate. Which there has been a huge decline in those abilities and those skills in the last three years. In the game of sales, I'm telling you right now, sales is rarely a smooth sale. You're going to face objections and resistance. You got to embrace them. Objections are opportunities to provide even more value for your customer. So when a customer raises an objection, it's a chance for you to show them how your solution overcomes that obstacle. Negotiation is a crucial aspect of the value exchange. And find common ground where both parties feel like they've gained something. Follow up and provide ongoing value. Nothing enrages me more than somebody selling something and never hearing from that salesperson again. I see it a lot. The value exchange doesn't end when the deal is done and when it's closed. It continues through your post-sale support and follow-up. you got to continue to provide value through excellent customer service, additional resources, and you can also upsell complimentary products or services. I see it in the car business all the time. People buy a truck from their salesperson. Salesperson doesn't follow up with them. First oil change. The truck comes back in with thousands of dollars of bed liners and side steps and campers and bush guards and all kinds of stuff that they spent money somewhere else that they could have spent with them. The more value you provide after the sale, the more likely you are to secure repeat business and referrals. Last but not least, be persistent. This one and done follow up situation that's rampant right now is terrible. Gotta be persistent. Don't be afraid to be persistent. If your product or service genuinely provides value, keep pushing forward. Many sales are lost because the salesperson gives up way too soon. Sometimes it takes multiple interactions to build the trust and understanding necessary for that customer to make a decision on you. So in a nutshell, value exchange in sales is about building relationships, solving problems, and creating a positive, mutually beneficial experience for both you and your customer. It's not about transactional selling. Get that out of your head. It's about providing ongoing value throughout the entire customer journey. So when you embrace that mindset, success in sales is just a matter of time. Take care, be safe, sell a bunch, find somebody and say something nice. Hey, we'd like to take a moment and recognize some friends of the show. So time is a value commodity, right? So why waste time and waste it fumbling with your watch? Many Focus Watches, a friend of the show here, offers sleek and stylish timepieces that are both functional and fashionable. With features like durable stainless steel straps, precise quartz movement, and water resistant, many focus watches are perfect for any occasion. From a morning workout to a night out. Plus, with a variety of colors and designs to choose from, you are absolutely sure to find the perfect watch to match your style. You've been 
been listening to the productive, not busy podcast. Please hit the subscribe and notification of new episodes button and visit us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok for bonus content. 